What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I have a kind of an interesting tiny house for you. If you've been with us on YouTube for quite a few years, you might remember this is my father's tiny house that he lived out in the woods for several years. And it uh, used to be a different color. It was like green with uh, some shard truce, I think that's the color, <laughs> uh, shutters. And um, so my dad finally got a little bit older and needed to move out of the tiny house out in the woods back into society. <laughs> uh, but now his old tiny house is for sale. If you go back years ago, you'll see all the uh, videos that we shot a lot of videos in this house out in the woods enjoying ourselves. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to give you some details about it. It's a 28 foot tiny house and I will take a quick walk around. I'll show you some of the details, uh, but in the link below will be the script, uh, the link to the listing. Like I said, this tiny house is almost go wide. This tiny house is 28 feet long. It's very lightweight. Um, you can tow it relatively easy. I think the total weight is 9,000 pounds. Um, on the front here, you can see we have a on-demand propane hot water heater. We're gonna add a couple more things over here, some tanks and stuff, uh, so you'll be able to work with that. The house itself, um, the, well, I'll take you inside and show you a little bit. We'll walk around real quick. Uh, this is LP siding on the outside, really good product. It's the same product we use on our tiny houses that we build here at Tiny House Listings. Um, you see here it has a 12,000 BTU mini split, um, which is more than enough to heat and cool this tiny house, even in extreme weather conditions. So we'll go inside real quick, take a look. As you can see, it's got a fresh coat of paint. We just painted the entire house. And believe it or not, when we first bought this tiny house, there was no insulation underneath. The builder failed to put insulation underneath. So we have since put uh, rigid foam boarding insulation underneath. So it's all buttoned up. No issues with that. When you walk inside, you can see this layout is very, very open floor plan. Uh, we've painted the inside uh, since it needed a fresh coat of paint. Uh, the bed area over here is queen size. You can see it has um, storage on both sides. There's the mini split. If you come back around this way, you can see there's like a little storage beside the bed where you can put all your knickknacks or whatnot, a book, drink, whatever it is that you want to put there. You can see you can easily put a couch here. My recommendation here on this side would be to put a narrow table for like a work area, but you obviously could put whatever you want. Um, my father had in this corner, he had, um, he ran a power from here up to there and had a wall mounted TV. Um, you can, here's another area you could put a desk. My dad had his desk here. Um, right here in this corner, you see there's a propane heater. So if you happen to be off grid or you like heating with propane, uh, you could definitely do that, but you still have the mini split over there to easily heat and cool this tiny house. No problem at all. Um, this is a split kitchen, so you can cook and everything on this side. One thing we haven't, we ac actually painted the cabinets, replaced some of them, put butcher block in. We added new faucets, um, all that. We took out the old stove that was right here. So before you buy this, we'll put a two burner propane stove in there. Um, so you'll be able to cook with gas, no problem. Uh, has an all-in-one combo washer and dryer. Big storage loft above. You can put all kinds of stuff up there. Uh, if you're one, if you're someone who likes to climb, you could climb on the kitchen area and reach that, or you can just put her like a retractable ladder from the ground here to get up there anytime you want. Um, in the bathroom, really cool shower. Um, it has a low flow shower head that we put on there. We put on there when my father was in the woods because he actually collected rainwater and wanted to conserve water. That only does, you can set it to as low as half a gallon per minute. Um, you can see nice shower stand up. I think it's 32 by 48, I wanna say. Has a nature's head compost toilet. Uh, one of those retail for like 1200 bucks, so they're nice. We put in a new vanity here. Um, and there is a mirror that you could put up here. We don't have it. Or you could put a, a medicine cabinet there if you wanted. But this is a really, really functional house. It feels almost like an apartment. Nice home. Uh, so just, again, click the link in the description below and uh, someone from our sales team will give you all the information you need to know about it. But it's a really nice home, very livable, perfect for one or two people. You could move in today.